There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge. Hey guys, this is Hydro from Xtrades and in this video we're going to go over call options and uh, put options. So to break it down, call options are something that you want to buy if you're bullish on a stock. Put options the same exact thing but opposite direction. So if you're bearish on a stock then you would want to buy a put, a put option. And um, so yeah, a call option gives the holder, the buyer of the option to uh, buy the underlying asset at the strike price before or on the expiration date. So let's say you are buying in a contract at, that has a strike price of fifty dollars if the stock ends up closing above fifty dollars then you're gonna buy um that you're gonna buy that stock um so if you have one contract there'll be a hundred shares and you're gonna buy, buy it at that price even regardless of how high the current price is so if it's at fifty three dollars you'll get it at for fifty dollars um so that's basically how op uh, call options work and put options are the same exact thing but uh reverse direction right this actually confuses a lot of people and most people don't actually wait for their um wait for the price or wait for the option to expire so this usually this is a very important definition um but it's not actually used for the type of trading that we do right we do mostly day trading or scalping with options so this is completely irrelevant for us but what we want to know what the key thing to know is call options should be used when you're bullish on the stock pull options should be used when you're bearish on the stock and why buy options over shares so with call options you get a much better risk reward ratio so there's a certain premium that you pay for the call option so let's say it's 65 cents um so or, so yeah call options are like this so they're not actually 65 cents uh this means 65 dollars because you buy a hundred of these because uh, one contract is equal to 100 shares so that's how it works um but yeah so when you buy um a contract it has unlimited potential unlimited upside right so if you think a stock is going to go up very quickly in a short period of time then you would want to buy a an option over a share um so yeah uh for example if the share moves or if the stock price moves a dollar and the option could move like two dollars instead of, uh, so that's that's the reason you want to buy an option over a share. The options move much more quicker, and uh, they have a much yeah. Like if the share only moves a dollar, then if you buy a share, then you're only going to get one dollar profit. But with an option, you get two dollars profit. And again, uh, two dollars. So if it becomes two point six five, then that's equivalent to two hundred sixty five. That's the two hundred dollar profit. Um, but yeah, that's how options work and. Um, there's a, there's in the money, out the money, and at the strike price. So if the current stock is at fifty dollars and you're buying a fifty dollar option, then that's at the money, and out of the money is when you're buying above the current strike price. So fifty five dollars, uh, fifty five. If the stock's at fifty and you're buying a fifty five dollar strike price option, then that's out of the money. And same thing for in the money. So if you're buying a forty five dollar uh, strike price, that's in the money. So that's in the money, out of the money, at the money and um yeah if you think the price of a stock is going to rise then you would want to buy an option and same thing for uh, a put option but uh reverse direction so yeah let's read the summary uh in summary a call option is used when you think that the stock price is going to go up versus a put option is going to be used when you expect the stock price to go down and uh, yeah, both options provide flexibility and risk management in various investment strategies. And uh, yeah, you can buy these options to um, sell. You can buy and sell these options and they can also be used to hedge. Um, so this is something that we haven't talked about in previous videos. But so let's say you have a $200, let's say you have 200 shares and that's a lot of risk for your portfolio. Two hundred dollars or two hundred shares of, like let's say Tesla, right? So you could buy a put option 
to hedge your position. So if you think Tesla is a very good long-term stock, but in the near term, um, you see some downside potential. So short term, you see you're bearish on Tesla, but long term, you're bullish. Then you can hold on to those shares and then hedge your position by using a put option, right? And uh, yeah, that's basically how you can hedge your position using options. And uh, you can also generate income using options through covered calls or um, cash secured puts. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful and uh, I hope I was able to explain it well. And feel free to d uh, DM me uh, if you guys have any questions or feel free to leave any comments on this video. Thank you. There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.